Right now, you guys are assuming, uh, you guys are assuming unattraction. You guys are assuming that she is not attracted to you at all. You are constantly finding reasons, finding uh, different excuses to not do an approach, to not go for it with a chick. And you have to just assume that she's going to be attracted to you. And then you fuck around and you find out. But this mindset, if you can assume that you will always succeed, if you can assume this, then this will take you further than fucking anything else. Because the people, I heard this great quote one time. I believe it was Richard Branson, who I've read all of Richard Branson's books. They're very good. He's the most inspirational entrepreneur on the planet in my mind. He said, entrepreneurship is jumping off a cliff and grabbing sticks on the way down, hoping you're gonna build wings. How many times have you guys, if you've been in game or whatever, if you've been in this world at all for a long time, then you know that you guys have seen chicks that you wanted to talk to and you just end up not doing it because you start thinking all these different thoughts, you start preparing, okay, what's the, all right, let me think back to the video that I watched. Let me think back to that one video. Okay, what's that? What's this good line I could use here maybe? All right, oh, let me try to go situational. Okay, I see she's wearing uh, this. Maybe I could comment on the watch that she's wearing. Uh, ah! You're trying to build wings before you just fucking jump. So the key here is to just jump because if you don't jump, then you're never gonna fuck around and find out. That's what I do. I assume attraction. I wanna say this. I gotta say this, this is crazy important, all right? Back to what I said a little bit ago. I grew up as a fat little shit. And if I'm being completely honest, I don't know if you can ever truly 100% and completely shake the identity that you held for yourself from the time you were five until you were 22 years old in all of your most formative years. So there have been women, there's just, there's like two popping into my mind. There's, there's two right now popping into my mind that three, they'll keep popping in. Let's, let's stick with these three. There's three popping into my mind where I remember, this is after my lay counts, like over a hundred, I've already hooked up with hot chicks. I've done it. I've hooked up with girls in different cities. I've had threesomes, all of this. But, but I remember these three particular girls I can see them so clearly, where I saw them and my first thoughts were not, ooh, let me go for that one. My first thoughts are, oh, look how fucking hot she is. Ah, uh, let me just, I'll, I'll probably try to find like a different one. L let me just move on to like a different one now. L let me just find one that's maybe like a little less attractive. Let me find one that just like doesn't, doesn't, uh, uh, that doesn't intimidate me as much. Or let me find one that I feel is like a little bit more in my league. And I'm like, the fuck is your league, bro? What are you talking? What league do you still think that you're in? You still think you're in the league of fucking that literal 300 pound chick at Kent State on your gross fucking, on your, in your gross dorm where your sheet got all pulled off and you've got like the rubber fucking cover on your on your mattress you guys are like slip sliding around on it that's not your league anymore dude so all three of these chicks i remember that thought popping up and then i remember approaching them and one in particular i remember my wings saw this and they were like holy shit that that fucking approach was insane and then i ended up fucking this chick for like six months this one girl she's just in the, the she's the group of baddies right she's in the group of baddies at the club and they're all up on a table dancing and I just go fucking straight up to her because I have that maniacal self-talk. I go, Aaron, you're being a bitch right now. You're not a bitch anymore. Let's fucking do this. And I just go right up to her and I fucking reach up. I grab her hand. I gently, so she doesn't fall. I gently fucking bring her down. And she's like, what's up? And she's still dancing. And I fucking start grabbing onto her, dancing on her a little bit. Great fucking conversation. End up making out with her. Get the number. End up hooking up with her either next night or night after. Just gold, just money. So again, I mean, fuck, tying in several of these principles we've already talked about, that lizard brain trying to keep me 
from my fucking destiny, bro. But my soul, my soul stepped up and said, yo, no, we're not doing that shit. So you've got to assume attraction. You got to fuck around and find out. Thank <laughs> you.